So it's been two years since I made this video on my new Trayvax element. What do I think of it overall? And is it truly heirloom quality? Hey, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys visiting. If you get anything at all out of this video, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Now, before we get started, I want to let you know that this is not a sponsored va video in any way, and I did pay for this wallet. So rest assured, I'm going to give you my open and honest thoughts about what I like, what I don't like, and overall, would I recommend the Trayvax Element. So here it is, guys. This is my element after two years of daily pocket carry. This baby's been with me ever since I made that original video and actually probably a couple weeks prior to that. Check out the patina on that leather. I absolutely love the way leather ages. It changes colors constantly. Any scratches you get just simply add character to it. Here, I'll give you a little bit of an idea if I flip this strap down, you could see more along the lines of what the original color was like. And even on the interior, you could see some of that brown in there, but it's really aging perfectly. And uh, I also love the way that these little brass buttons have uh, aged. If you remember, go to the original video, check it out. These were, were black originally but when you know just from a couple of years of being in your pocket it wears that off and i love how that looks and it also matches down here um, so the leather looks great all the binding cord has held up phenomenally well no fraying at all there um, again with the buttons they still stay closed perfectly just like they should and what's really cool is that the aluminum frame here um, has stayed completely intact not a in fact not a single scratch on it and i have used this bottle opener uh several times so uh right now i did a count before i came on and i have 12 cards in this wallet right now which is which is pretty darn good i did follow the instructions i i put the wallet in water put the number of cards that i would have in there allowed it to stretch out what you will run into from time to time if you have a lot of bills in the back here so not a lot of money i'm talking a lot of bills so if you were going to the club and you wanted to to make it rain a bit and you had uh you know 20 singles in there that's going to add some thickness to it and um, when that happens you just pull that leather a little tighter i have probably uh well surpassed what you should be doing on this um this <laughs> leather strap but uh again it, it's held up beautifully beautifully well um so this was the wallet uh, for me. I bought my son the Ascent. Uh, a little bit too thin for me, I think. I love, love, love the wallet, but for what I have to carry for work and things like that, I think this is the wallet um, that I made the right choice when getting this wallet. So overall, what do I, what do I really like about this wallet? Well, I like the patina, uh, both with the leather, both with the brass. I love the fact that it's super easy to get your cards out and you can still carry cash and that's incredibly easy as well. I love the snap enclosure. I love the bottle opener. Yeah, I've used it, you know, like I said, I've used it quite a bit, but probably not as much as you would think. Uh, and I really was more fearful of damage in the leather than anything. And I love the fact that if, you know, you had a, um, a Trayvax link or anything like that, you could hook it up to this and throw it in your pocket. Uh, speaking of that, I love the fact that it's a front pocket wallet. I used to carry the bifold back pocket wallet, a lot like George Costanza. And man, it was probably six or eight times that somebody tapped me on the shoulder and said, sir, you dropped your wallet. And that's scary. Um, it's like, you know, you just get that panic feelings like losing your phone. I don't know something about your wallet and your phone, you lose those and it uses that sinking feeling in your gut. And I've never once ever had this fall out of my pocket. So nice, minimal front pocket carry. What don't I like? Nothing. Uh, absolutely nothing. I love this wallet in every way. So would I recommend it for you? Absolutely. If you're looking for a great front pocket carry, uh, it's not too light. It's not too heavy. It will expand to your needs to be as, as thin or relatively as thick as you would like it to be. Um, 
just a great option. So again, this isn't a sponsored video. This is my honest opinion of what I think about the Travax element. And I think it's obvious that I, that I love it. Um, so I would highly recommend this for you. Guys, if you got anything at all out of this video, if you'd like to see other videos in the future, please, as I said earlier, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm getting real close to a thousand subs and that's a big deal for me. Um, I started this just as a hobby and I found quite a few people that, that have enjoyed the videos. In fact, that was the inspiration to this one. So uh, if you don't mind, please hit that like and subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram at Gears Guns Grub and check me out online at gearsgunsandgrub.com. Over there, you're going to find recipes to some man grub. You're going to find car videos and things about my car, Dodge Viper. And you're going to find things um, related to guns and, and, and shooting and, and all things manly, all things that we're all into. So please, check me out. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe out there and uh, enjoy.